my mom went to Grand Lands too. Um, this um uh, is a sequel to the first game, obviously. <laughs> But it adapts the worst story ever for a for a multi team you know choose your own team player type game. Um, it adapts the comic book, the Marvel comic book storyline Civil War, which doesn't make much sense for. You know, this time of game, that's why I don't like it, and it's placed so low on my list. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Now, I have not completed the, um, the game at all. I've barely scratched the surface, but what I've played so far, I really enjoyed, um, people complain that the, that this game takes too, uh, takes too many liberties from the Marvel set in the universe, um, which it does, it, it has Falcon, it has the Guardians, it has, uh, um, yeah, the, Luke Cage as the Punisher, but here's the thing, um, the thing about, that I love this game about, about it so far is, is, um, is it, it, is it lets you use characters like Crystal from the Inhumans, like Falcon, like the Guardians of the other Galaxy, which have not been used before in the previous two titles in the series, which I thought that was really cool. And I meant you really, really enjoying the game so far. Marvel Ultimate Alliance, the original one from 2006. I absolutely love this game. I love the characters. I love the voice actors. I love um, the story, the deep, deep involved story. Um, and uh, yeah, this game is flawless. I've played through it. I've beaten it at least ten times. It is one of the best games I've ever played in my entire life. It's actually one of my, my favorite games of all time. Um, it's a beautiful game. It's a beautiful story. I just wish the sequel had followed through with that post-credit scene.